This conference will now be recorded. In um, this starting this this spring slash summer, the city uh, Department of Public Works we're going to hire Dorner uh, Incorporated out of out of Green Bay to construct the Indiana Avenue project from 17th to 24th. Last year, the county did this section of Indiana. They did it from Taylor Drive to 24th Street. So we want to finish up our last section this year. It's from 17th to 24th. Now this project this went up. This project was scheduled for 2024 because um, it was this because. Taylor Drive was supposed to get done by the county this year from Erie Avenue all the way to Union Avenue. But with the county project, they have, they're, they're getting federal funding and their funding got pushed back from 2023 to 2024. Therefore, we moved our project from 2024 to 2023. Because these projects are so close to each other in proximity that you uh, you can't do it at the same time. It'd be a yeah. detour nightmare. So that's that's how we ended up here. If you look in your capital improvements, uh, that was approved this last this last year. This project was scheduled for 2024. It just got moved up a year. Um, it'll finish up that corridor. It'll be just like the rest of it is now. Bike trail, lighting. It's going to be all being going down the one lane. Uh, we had a, a public information meeting several weeks ago, which went over very well with the neighbors. We had a big turnout. So and the bids came in favorable. So that's why uh, that's why we're we're here to get, just to get it approved. I will say that the uh, residents of the area are very excited about it. They're, they're looking forward to it. Um, you, know, you, know, you always know you always have to live through the pain to get the nice project, but it's uh, uh, Indiana. It's, it's got some real rough spots on it. It's been, it's been bad for a couple of years now, and uh, people are looking forward to it. And just to add to this, several projects that are supposed to get done in 2023 got pushed back to 2024, but it just made sense to move this one forward. Does, how does this affect like the budget for this year? Or does it not really? No, that's why we had to eliminate okay. a couple. I shouldn't say eliminate. We just pushed back like South 11th Street. Okay, we're supposed to do from Indiana to Union. Okay, and also uh, Lincoln Avenue. We're going to do like from First Street to Sixth Street. We just moved those back to 2024. Okay. Uh, okay. No. Is the the projects that are being pushed back is is that going to cause any issues? Do people who are the people in that in those areas really? Pushing for that is that something that we have a lot of safety or any issues there? No, they're just it's is what it is. Yeah, it's it's a 
we have more more work than we are able to do within our budgets and with you know the, even the, the time that we have during the construction season so um, it's just another unfortunate year where it gets delayed and it's a rough road and not the best condition um, but it's been that way for several for some time already um, it's not pleasant but that's the nature of this type of work uh, it's it we need to be flexible sometimes utility work uh, brings other projects to the forefront and prioritizes so there's always there's always some some opportunity to adjust and again um, we've we've pretty been pretty upfront with this I know uh, Ryan's been very communicative and his staff with the engineering department about the projects in delay actually originally this was originally slated what it was first proposed it was originally slated for this year mm -hmm. and then it got pushed back because of the right Taylor Drive right. thing and so and then now it got shifted because of the Taylor Drive thing again so mm -hmm. it's kind of it's been on the radar for a long time will the traffic be able to will it will you do one side of the street or you're going to fully block it close it from 4, 24 to 17. well we'll keep it open to uh so it'll be open to local traffic so in other words people majority of the time will <coughs> their driveways Mm -hmm. On there, but for the most part, it's going to be it's going to be shut down quite a bit. Yeah. Shut down. I mean, there's a, there's businesses on there that we know we have to pr uh, provide access to. You yeah. Have the dental, the and then you Frankie's have uh, and, Frankie's and yeah. that, and so there'll be access and detours for those those businesses. And when you close them down, the bus route just re loops, or how does that work? Yeah, they'll have to right. They'll be they'll be looping around. They'll just re looping around. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thanks, Jeremy. When I was reading the document, I didn't read every, all 300 pages. <laughs> but as I was going through that, there was a gas station that was there. Mm -hmm. has, has all the contamination and everything, is that is that going to be any of a, are we going to have to be dealing with that going into that street? Are we looking? There's 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 always the potential for contaminated soil, let's say, that leached into the right of way and into right. the um, and if that's the case, it gets it's part of the contract. There's probably some provisions that we will work with the contractor. So we where we would be responsible for it, even though that it came from you know that property was sold uh, like four times. Right. So what we'll do is we we take care of it as part of the project, but then we also then will look for the responsible party, right, and then go back to them for the additional cost of managing that contaminated soil. Provided that there's someone within the chain of custody that we can go back to and identify. I don't know. If was, I don't think Jose is around anymore. I, no, that one wasn't Jose. That one was, According to that uh, doc, that document, it, it, it was Jose. Although the, the the one on twenty first was the one on twenty second. Mm -hmm. Both. Okay. There's, there's two gas stations there, yes. that, way, that were around. Yeah. You're you're correct. There was two gas stations. Yeah. So. Plus, to try to get ahead of that a little bit, we did we did a lot of borings out there, so we might pick up on something. Yeah. Can, can you miss it, like David mentioned? Yeah, but sure. you try to get ahead of it a little bit. Well, given I, given you know. that they're they're that old and that that far removed, mm -hmm. uh, the soil does somewhat naturally attenuate this some of the contaminants, and then yeah. it manages some of it itself. So, um, for instance, we just did the repair at Erie and Fourteenth. We were suspected there to be a lot of contaminant, and it was just very minimal, surprisingly. Oh, really? And that was four gas stations, all on that yeah. on every corner, you know, one on every corner back Am I in going the day. Deep enough? <laughs> <laughs> well, this would be a really good project. It'll finish that corridor all the way from Kohler all the way down yeah. to New Harbor. It'll be nice. We're done yep. for, for a long, long time. And all the all the the. Um, the side streets going up there will all be coming two ways temporarily, mm -hmm. as Ryan said. So right. they'll be, so they'll be, you know, it'll be so because they're all we're all we're all currently one way, and they'll go back to one way once the street's done. But they'll be right. two two way so that the residents don't have to go to Indiana Avenue and keep off of there. So, any other questions? Look for motion. I move to accept the resolution. resolution. Second. Motion's made and seconded. Uh, any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Okay. Number seven. Resolution number 159, 2223, March 20th, 2023. Resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a lease with Lakeshore United FC for use and management of the Putson property. 
I'm going to take Mr. a lead on this one. Okay, yeah, Mr. Chair, I'm going to recuse myself okay. from this discussion as I'm a board member of the, okay. the soccer Lakeshore United group, so I'm going to See you after the meeting. <laughs> uh, we are asking that the committee approve the resolution authorizing the lease. This is uh, step one of a multi-year, multi-phase process to develop and manage the boots and property for multi-sport recreational purposes. We have Chris and Joe here from LUFC, and I'm sure they would like to speak also and are available to answer questions. Sure. So with, with regard to <coughs> the lease, uh, Attorney Majerus and I have been working on getting a, a draft lease put together. It's attached to your resolution. Um, <clears throat> it's relatively straightforward. It's a multi-year uh, lease, uh, five years initially with uh, renewable periods for a 10-year period. Oh, was it 15? I forget. I think we did 10 with re uh, we'll pull it up. I should have that memorized, shouldn't I? I should too, but I don't. <laughs> it's like reading 300 pages of a proposal. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't remember. But that, that being said, it's, it's really an opportunity for us to have enough time to, to make developments, to fundraise, to do the things we need to do, uh, uh, to get the infrastructure put in, to get the structures put in, the, the athletic fields put in, and uh, various other matters as we go forward. So we, we think it's a great proposal. We're excited about it. We're glad to be tenants again. Um, and we're looking forward to being good stewards of that property as we go forward. Five-year term, 10 years of auto renew on one-year cycles. And then this work, I'm, I'm assuming I'm, I'm, this does have all openings for the, the possibility of a structure being put on that. Yeah, we drafted this uh, intentionally to allow for other agreements to be put into place as we have a, a firmer picture of what the development's going to look like. Okay, okay. And any, any thoughts on how that's going so far now that we kind of brought that? I think we're forward. still waiting for the feasibility study to be made public. Yeah, that's not been brought back to the to the group, um, either to our group or to the, the bigger group that got that, that was put together to, to start that study. And my initial understanding, I, I don't know if any of you had a chance to read the Sheboygan Press story this week. Uh, Dan Hine had commented from the town of Sheboygan that the, the feasibility study was site specific. Mm -hmm. I don't understand it to be site specific, uh, but a draft is out there floating around ostensibly for the purpose of probably figuring out whether it cash flows regardless of site. So uh, without having seen that, I, I think that's where they're at in that process. Okay. I believe in that article, it said something like within the next two weeks that he was going to be able to find out on that. That is my understanding as well. It, uh, another question. Uh, are you in any way associated with the football league? Is that at one time years ago, they were also going to be part of the Butson property where there's going to be football fields on there or not? Right. We don't have any direct affiliation with Sheboygan Youth Football. We had been initially in discussions with Sheboygan Youth Football uh, for possibly subletting or having opportunities out there to yeah. rent space, maybe seasonally. Uh, but we don't have any specific affiliation with them. But that being said, the, the facility is envisioned to be multi-sport, so it would certainly include them in any plans or any program. Well, originally that's what I thought it was going to be two. They're going to have two football fields and then so many soccer fields. I mean, talking a number of years ago, so yeah, that's correct. Um, is there any speaking of other? Is there anything with softball or, or baseball coming into that too? Also, or is it just is it just going to be strictly football? I think soccer. the phase one development is primarily going to be soccer fields okay. and soccer facilities. Um, I've not had any conversations with other organizations about okay. exploring, you know, developing specific to those sports. But in all of the conversations I've been a part of, it's been just generally understood that it's, it's open all, to all, all users. Sports. Yeah. And if anyone approached us, that would be kind of how we did it. We wanted to make sure the, the former lease and then this lease was open to to being able to work with other sports to do other things. There are, you know, depending on how we were approached or, or who approached, there are options when it comes to, like if we install turf, how you would configure that to, to bring in other organizations if they had an interest um, in order to make the facility, not only just from a user standpoint, but from a cash flow and from a <coughs> usability standpoint, um, depending on who would, who would be interested in that. And then obviously with the, the, the other project, the building project, how that fell, that could impact some things as well. But all, all along have said that regardless of any other sites, 
need to continue to utilize this site and continue to develop this site both with outdoor and, and whatever because if you remember our original had a dome on it yep. in one of yep. the phases that that <laughs> continues to be a need um, those needs haven't changed um, since the first lease we've actually increased our membership significantly even through covid and I think that there, the opportunity to do something indoor has to has to happen in Putzen, regardless of what goes on elsewhere. Currently, what do, how many fields are about with with what, with what we have planned now? I think what's been developed now there's there's four full size fields and okay. three other fields. Um, you know, but but that's it's just a start. That's a that's a start, and you know. With with the with the fields that we have with SASD, we would probably continue. We will will continue with those as well. Just with how much our needs have grown, and then if you throw in any other sports, there's 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 a, quite a bit of, of fields to balance. So, future uh, city driving range. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just yeah yeah. So anything is possible. Out to space yes. Yeah, anything is possible, and as Chris mentioned, we're open to all of that. And I don't think we've been directly approached by anybody with regard to other sports, but certainly one of those things. Nothing we've got on the south side. Yeah, <laughs> and then we, all of those things have been on our radar. Yeah. And, and field uh, needs baseball, softball. Mm -hmm. I see they've really dropped. Um, yeah, there is no real use, uh, no scheduled use of Kiwanis anymore. It hasn't been for several years. There's no scheduled use of uh, Roosevelt anymore. Hasn't been for several years. Um, there's been talk of trying to do something with Roosevelt mm -hmm. uh, for some youth, youth baseball, softball, but so that that that, that area has really dropped off. I want to know with this being because there's some soccer use in some of those those facilities. That with this being open, that that opens those up to continue to be used for you know or helps. You know, Correct. So those, you know those LUFC and, and and I'm sorry. Um, soccer in both rec and this club um, has been a big user of the park yeah. and the school system. So providing them some area uh, of their own would alleviate the schools, alleviate our parks to, to do some more things. Okay. Thank you. Is the space open to the public? I, I'm, this is, I'm new to this project, so I'm, is it someone that in, like, kids can play in there or is it I, I believe it. I mean, I believe it will be right now. I don't think it's it's set up for people, and there's no parking yet. There's none of those. There's no restrooms, those kind of things. But this, we would envision this like any other park. Still a public park. Yep. Still. Yep. Okay. Yep. One hundred percent. Looking for a motion then. Uh, I move to accept the resolution. Second. Motion made to second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Okay, next meeting date, April 11th, 2023. So we have exhausted the agenda. I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? We are adjourned. So then it is a driving.